Niggas get shot every day, B. You be a'ight, nigga. You tough, right? I'm out, Rico. You understand what I'm saying? Look at me. I've been shot in the head, baby. My body different. I'm breathing different. You understand what I'm saying? The doctor said I wasn't gonna walk the same. You understand what I'm saying? I'm out. Yo, hey, man. Now, why, why did you kill Rich? 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 The, the question to everybody with that, Rich. The reason why Rich, Richard, okay, I had a connect. I had a young Dominican connect off of Broadway. And, um, you know, he wasn't really in position at the time when I was really dealing with him to really front me crazy. You know, he would front me one or two, but he wasn't really in a position where, you know, I wanted, we wanted him to front us like, you know, 50, 60, 100 keys. We didn't want to put up no money. We wanted, we want you to front us and we'll pay you when we, you know, get the get the drugs. Or we didn't, or we, or if we got a hundred from you, we'll put up some of the money and we'll pay you the rest. You know what I mean? Right. But we don't have to go in the stash for our money. So my connect wasn't in position at the time like that. And Richard was dealing with his connect that he met when he did that year in prison. He met a connect when he did that year in the Bronx house. Okay. So this kid was hitting him lovely, but then it stopped. The kid, the kid caught a dry spell. Since you ain't got nobody to get no drugs from, deal with my man, he'll give you a good price. And and the money I'm bringing from out of town, you know, we'll hit him. And when he starts from us the, the, the drugs, you let me know. Because I had other connects. I had like two or three other connects that I was able to deal with too. So the time came when he was going to start fronting us to cope. Okay. But I was out of town. Since I was out of town, he wasn't able to catch up to me. It was easy for him to just deal with Rich. Right. Give it to Rich and let Rich give it to me right so that's what happened if he gave a hundred I was supposed to get 50 you know what I mean I know. at the same price that he was charging rich I was supposed to get it for that price too right but before this came along I was already dealing with rich with his connect so if his connect was charging whatever he I didn't have no problem with rich making a thousand dollars two thousand off of me because right. I was coming to spend three four hundred thousand with him but now my connect is giving it from 12 13 my original connect is giving it to him for twelve thirteen, and I'm supposed to get half of that at that price. But Rich got me thinking that the coke that I'm getting from him is still coming from his connect. So then I, I wind up bumping into my connect because I wind up staying up there a couple of days, and uh, I wind up running into my connect. Okay. So I, I bump into him. So I said, yo, what's up, man? I said, yo, what's up, man? When are you going to uh, start, you know, looking out for a brother, man? He was like, what you talking about? I said, man, you know what that I'm talking about. When you going to start us this and that? And he had a lot of respect for me. I had a lot of respect for him. And uh, so I said, yeah, when you? So he's like, yo, what are you talking about? I just gave Rich like 60 joints. This time he had just gave Rich like 60 bricks. Okay. And 30 of, them were, 30 of those bricks were mine. Okay. So I'm saying, no, you didn't. You didn't. Rich got coke from his man. He said, man, Paul, I'm telling you, man. I said, oh, yeah. I said, yeah, all right, man. And he described them. And I remember I had just got these, like, round these round joints from Rich that were real good. Okay. And I think they had like Reagan or somebody on them. Okay. They were real, real good, man. And he, des he described them to me and everything. Okay. So I said, yo, all right. I said, yo, we never had this conversation, man. So I, I, didn't, I didn't really say much about it. I just had it in my mind like, damn, Rich getting over on me like that. So I didn't say nothing to him the first time. So I went back down to D.C. to get rid of my bricks and all that. And and I had developed a relationship with one of my, with a dude that just started off as one of my customers. Me and him had built a relationship where we became like real tight, like me and Rich in New York. This kid was me and Rich in D.C. Okay. What was his name? His name was Gary. Gary. Yeah, little Gary. Is that the one that they say got his dick cut off? Yeah, that's the one they say got his dick cut off, yeah. Was that a situation from you? Yeah. That was? I wound up killing little Gary later on. This kid was good. He was... Probably about three years younger than me. He was a murderer too. He was about he was about his murder game. Okay. This was my little man. So uh, so I went back down to D.C. Man, and I told my little man. I said, Yo, man. So I said, Yo, man. Do rich up in New York, man. And he knew rich because he knew rich from me bringing him to New York because we used to do the firework thing in New York. Okay. I used to every Fourth of July I used to spend like ten, fifteen thousand with these guineas downtown and get me like a 
a, tr a truck full of fireworks and come back to my neighborhood and blow it all up and all that. Okay. Around 105th Street and this time I did it around 102nd Street with Rich and all that and I brought my little man because they never seen nothing like that being in D.C. They couldn't really do stuff like that so I brought him to New York to show him how we live up there and all that. Okay. So he wanted me and Rich in that process and all that. So this day I went back to D.C. I said, yo, man, this dude here, man. I just found out this dude is jerking me, man. He said, what are you talking about? I said, man, this dude is getting the bricks for my man. I'm supposed to get half at this price. And he's charging me this price because I'm thinking it's still coming from his connect. Mm -hmm. And the first thing came out, he's my man. Man, let's kill him, man. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, just hold up for me. Let me think about this thing. So I wound up calling Rich. I said, yo, Rich, uh, everything all right? You, you, your, man, your man back on? So I'm just checking. I said, your man back on? He said, oh, yeah, my man just gave me some more joints. You, you coming up? I said, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. I said, all right. I told my little man, I said, yo, we're going to New York, man, and uh, we're going to go see Rich. No, first I went to New York. First I went to New York. I took care of my business with him. I spent about, I spent about a half a million dollars with him and yeah. uh, got my bricks and all that. And uh, he, uh, I think he was getting them from, he was also getting bricks from, like, Fritz and them. I don't know if you ever heard of the kid Fritz. Yeah, I heard of Fritz. Yeah, he was, he was, Fritz was getting boatloads of that stuff. I wind up taking it back to D.C. So I'm still not saying that. So I'm saying my little man. I said, yo, man, that's it, man. I'm going to go back to New York. I said, yo, I'm going to ask Rich. I'm going to step to him because I'm like, I'm really like just fed up with it now. I said, yo, I'm going to ask Rich who he got that coke from. This last thing I got, who he getting this coke from. And uh, if he if he lied to me again, I said, it's over. Okay. I'm taking him out. So now I tell my little man this. I'm saying, yo, you come. I said, yo, we going to go to New York. I had just got me a customized van. I just bought me a customized van. Them big joints with the TV and the bed and all that. Okay. So I had just bought one of those, and it was up there in the shop getting the system done and all that. So uh, I told my little man, I said, yo, we're going to uh, go to New York. We're going to fly to New York. I'm going uh, to get with Rich, and I'm going to find out what the hell is going on. Okay. So uh, one thing led to another, and uh, I don't want to go into all the, you know, but did I, uh, the question is, did I, did I have anything to, did I kill Rich? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. I killed Rich. How'd that come about? You just, you just put, because everything on the street said that uh, a limousine pulled up. Huh? A limousine pulled up and put Richard in a car or something like that. That's what they said? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's what, that didn't happen. That's for, that's for them to see later on, Antoine. That didn't happen, Antoine. That didn't happen. But I know the thing is, did I, did I kill, did I kill Rich? And, uh, yes. Yes, I killed Rich. Why did I kill him? It wasn't personal. It was business. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Because Rich, Rich, like I told you, like the story I had to do with the, with the connect and all that. Rich, he was lying to me about something that there was no reason to lie to me about. And in my mind, it just told me that, if 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 this if this little bit of money can come between what I thought was a was a was a wonderful relationship and a friendship, then no telling what you might sell me down the line for. And I gave him the opportunity to tell me the truth, not once but twice. So when I already made the when I already made the the uh, when I already came with the plan with my little man and like yo, if he lied to me, we just gonna do what we need to do. Then that's what happened. Did I kill the little brother? No, I didn't. That was... You know who that was, right? Right. You know who that was? Right. They said it was a uh, preacher. No, they didn't. That's who it was. They, that's they, who it was. They got, right. Not just preacher, but Richard's uncle, Apple. Right. They did that. And why, what made it seem like I had something to do with it is because where I left Richard, where I left Richard, the boy's body was found almost in that same whole city island area. Now, they said you carried the body all the way from Harlem to City Island? Yeah. You wasn't afraid? No. I mean, once, you know, once, once that first murder, once, that, once, you, once you take care of that first murder in your life, you know, it's, it's like really, and not, not that this is a, a good thing that I'm saying, but, you know, once, once you do it once, it's like everything else is, no, I wasn't afraid. No, the answer is that, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't afraid. I mean, I was doing what I had to do, Antoine. Okay. Definitely got killed in that area and his body was definitely taken up to around City Island. Okay. 
Um, he got hit twice. It was just a yeah. He he felt something, man. Because I, I I tell you this, his hand was on the door, on the doorknob. I had to I had to pry his hand from the doorknob because it locked on the doorknob. Locked on the doorknob. Yeah, he was trying to get up out of there. Mm. Um, they also said that he scratched your neck. That's a false. That's he a never scratched. Richard, first of all, Richard never seen Richard never seen it coming really. He couldn't have scratched my neck because I was the driver, and my little man took care of everything else. And uh, he uh, no, he didn't scratch. How I got my neck scratched. And it's not they said it. I believe AZ said my neck. Was. Right, AZ said it. Yeah, I believe AZ said my neck. Hold on. Richard didn't scratch my neck. Richard never even seen it coming. Richard never even laid a hand on me. He never knew what was happening. Something so 
I'm trying to stay behind the, I'm trying to stay behind the, the steering wheel. I'm trying to stay in the driver's seat just in case we gotta pull over, pull off, and have him go dump the body. But when he went to go try to dump, you know, get Rich out the car, he couldn't. He couldn't pick him up. He couldn't pick him up. Rich was bigger than him, so he couldn't. He couldn't move him to to, to put him in the woods and all that. So now I gotta get. I had to get out the van to go help him. And when I went to go help him. Richard made a sound. So that shit startled me. Like, oh shit, he's still alive. So I grabbed the gun. I grabbed the gun from my little man and put one in his head. And then I had to pick him up. I had to pick him up and and dump him in the woods and leave his body. I was able to, you know, get him where he needed to be. And then we jumped back in the we jumped back in the van and I made sure I didn't skid off or anything like that to leave any kind of tracks. And we, uh, and we left. And we left. The rest was the newspapers. The rest was history. Thank you so much.